Hey, 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 it's a bonus day four. So I hope that yesterday you signed up for the free strategy session with me. And if you didn't, there's a link to do that below. I hope you're on my mailing list. And if you're not, there's a link below. Um, if you're here for day four, which is our bonus session, the topic is, who are you? Um, and um, if you're doing this bonus session and you haven't done any of the other days, I suggest you at least take a look at them. Or if you've just find yourself like, I signed up and I'm not doing them and I don't know why, that's great. This, this one is for you. This one is really for the people who are like, I know I want more time, but something is stopping me um, from actually implementing the things that I learned in these videos. Perfect. So if you subscribe to this series, it's because you say that you want more time and more freedom for yourself. And if you're watching this, you know that saying that is one thing and doing it is another. And that's the simple reason why people have trouble breaking their habits is that as painful as their current situation might be, they know how it feels. It's familiar. Like you might have something you do over and over again and it's uncomfortable for you or it's not producing the results you want, but at least it's producing a result that's consistent and you know you're going to get that result. And having more time to yourself might seem a little bit threatening at first. I mean, you're used to this life of working hard. And if you're in business, you're also feeling appreciated by the people around you, by your customers. And that's a good feeling. And I, I'll give you an example. I was, I was coaching a woman and she'd been in business for a long time, more than 10 years. And she was exhausted when I got there. She said, listen, I had this emergency. I had to fly out to several customers. I've been flying all around the area. Um, because my competitor started to move in and, and, and tried to undercut my prices and I had to reestablish these connections with the people. And I said, well, that's, uh, that's you know, really admirable. You really care about your business. Uh, what would you have done with the time if you didn't have to solve the emergency? And she just didn't know, really honestly didn't know. She didn't have a family at that point in her life. Um, she had some friends, but they didn't necessarily live near her. And she just thought, I don't know. I mean, I've been doing this business for so long and I've been talking to myself about how I need to take the next steps in my life. But honestly, I don't even know what the step, next step is going to look like in my life. And so there she was thinking that she wanted more time, but not really having a vision of where she wanted to go with that time. And we're all like that. Even if you do have a family, you know, if you're very busy with your business, the time with your family may be enjoyable, but some of it might not. I and mean, I've had kids. They don't behave the way you want them to every time you're with them. It's like, oh, now it's our magic moment together. Sometimes not so magic, right? So you might not have in your mind a real visualization of how great it's going to be when you do have that time for yourself. So today's exercise is about creating those visualizations because we already have in our mind ideas about what time with our family looks. It comes from when we were kids, right? We have this it's in our mind already. It comes from that last time you were with them. It comes from repeated incidents with your loved ones, which might not have been as pleasant as you wanted them to be. So what we're going to do in today's exercise is we're going to replace those old thoughts with some new thoughts. And what you want to do is once we've created these new visualizations, you want to reinforce them and keep visualizing the great things you're going to do with your time when you have it. As you visualize more and more the great things that are going to happen and how wonderful the time with your family is going to be or how wonderful it is going to be to develop that hobby, taking voice lessons or learning to sail or maybe even just opening a nonprofit that helps people in your community. Whatever it is that you imagined you'd do with your free time, we want to reinforce that by imagining it more and more and more and more vividly. Of course, I can't do that with you. That's not, um, you know, it's not a 21-day program. But in the exercise below you'll do two things. One, you'll put down like really quickly, just not more than two or three minutes, how you've really envisioned it, like the truth, like what did you really think it was going to be like having this extra time? I remember um, my father saying, when I retire, I'm afraid I'm just going to sit around and do nothing, you know, and it's just deteriorate, right? So imagine what's really in your mind so that just so you know, you can get it out of there, right? So get that out of your mind. And then spend a lot more time, 8 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, indulge yourself if you want. And imagine vividly and create the future and write down all those things that are going to be amazing and how amazing they're going to be. And then take that and read it over for yourself, you know, as often as you want. The more you visualize and fantasize about those activities, the more you'll find ways to create that time for yourself. 
As always, feel free to reach out to me by email if you um, if I can support you with anything in the series. This is really the last video in this series, but there's going to be more every month. I'll be putting out new content, so you want to be on the mailing list. Sign up below, and don't forget to pick up your bonus, which is a one-hour strategy session. I really honor you for taking this time out, and I want to give you some time back um, in helping you directly with your business, whether that's any questions you might have on this series or on my other video about how to turn around an underperforming team. I'm here for you, so please just schedule yourself in, answer a few questions so I'll know how to be prepared for our meeting. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you. Thank you so much.